Good morning, everyone. It's Sherry from Sheebies World. Welcome to my channel. Today is Friday, February 12th, 2021, and this is floss noom number 20. Yay, drum roll. I made it to number 20. Um, I just want to say welcome to everyone. Thanks for sticking it out with me. Uh, if you're if you're new, uh, this is a channel mostly about cross stitch. I also do sewing, finishing work. Um, I frame, I dye floss, I dye fabrics, and I, I've made Christmas stockings. I do it all. I just keep busy, um, especially during this cold weather. I don't know about all of you guys, but we've had too much snow. I'm sick of it. I'm sore. I get cold. I'm too old for this. Uh, right now I'm sitting in the basement again. I'm sitting at the pool table. That way I can spread everything out that I need to show. Um, I decided not to do it upstairs because of the dogs. They've been going crazy lately. So I decided to try doing it in the basement. It's a little cold. I have my turtleneck sweater on. I have my Coke. I'm ready. I may do too much talking and I apologize now. Um, I've had a few questions and I've had a few requests if I would show how I dye my fabrics and I dye my floss. Right now I'm not comfortable showing the process of all of it. I don't have the room. I don't have the space. I don't have the setup to be able to show how I do everything. I'm not going to say never. Uh, maybe one day I will, but right now I just, I just don't feel comfortable doing it. Uh, I do all my dyeing in the basement of our home. We have a quite a large laundry room. So I set everything up in there. It, it's filled with all the dyes. It's filled with paintbrushes. It's filled with the fabrics or the floss. It's got tarps all over the floor, tables. It's a mess. I'd rather not show that. You don't want to see that part. But thank you for asking. I will think about it. Um, today, I have no whips and no haul. I've been doing really good not buying. Um, sorry stores, but I have been buying finishing work embellishments and everything at Joanne Fabric. So I am still shopping, just not buying anything new in cross stitch just yet. I do have a wish list going on at a couple places, but right now I'm kind of holding back. Um, today I'm going to show some finishes from my Christmas Itis 2020 stitch along. Uh, I had a lot of fun November and December. I just want to say thank you to everyone who joined in on the stitch along. We will be starting a new stitch along in April for Easter, 2021 Easter itis, a new start every day, or just stitch on something Easter if you don't want to have a new start. Um, I had a lot of fun following everyone else and seeing what they were stitching. Uh, so today I'm going to, I'm going to show some of the finishes for Christmas. I've got Valentine FFOs. I've got some table runners that I've made. I've got Easter FFOs. I have been on a roll making easels. And thank you to Sue Hillis for her book. I'll show the booklet that I used. Her instructions are fantastic. And I, when I get on a roll, I just keep going. Um, I'll show some of the dyed floss. I did a lot of new colors. I had to discontinue some colors. I can't get the dyes anymore and I can't mix the colors when I came up with it. But I did come up with quite a few new colors. So I'll be showing some uh, samples of the floss too. So let's get started. Um, these are all from different magazines. Sorry I don't have them. But I figured I'd just show the finishes. Sorry about the wrinkle fabric. I'm a huge fan of gingerbreads. Our kitchen is decorated in nothing but gingerbreads. So I finished a lot of gingerbreads. I think these are all so cute. I enjoyed these. I basically stitched half of them and then I stitched the other half and the finishing just went just like that. When you, when you have most of it done, sorry about the shadow. I apologize for that. I did most of the gingerbread first to finish them. I have some ideas. I have a, a wooden type shelf and I might make these into small little things and then they go in each shelf, like sort of what you see for the Halloween. I'm still debating on how I'm gonna do it. Or I might make these into ornaments. I don't know yet. Little teacup gingerbread. Uh, and this is Mr. Chef gingerbread. These were so cute. I just hope all my ideas come together as to how I wanna finish these now that I'm working on my finishing work. So those are all the Christmas ones I finished so far out of what, 60, let's see, 30 days in November, 29 days in November, 31, yeah, about almost 60 I have to finish. Oh boy, excuse me, dry throat. Thank you. Okay, this is the instruction booklet. Let me take it out of the, sorry about that. 
called Easels Made Easy. It's by Sue Hillis Designs. These are fantastic instructions on how to make your easels. She shows everything. Um, the booklet is six pages long. I mean, she gives detailed instructions about everything. I, I kind of tweaked them a little bit, you know, for what works for me. But I highly recommend, if you really want something in print, this is the perfect booklet. Thank you, Sue. I really enjoy making my, my easels. Okay, Valentine's Day easels. Here's a small one. Sorry, I don't have any of the booklets for what these came from. This came from a, a, a little five by seven booklet that had like 600 designs in it. That's the front, there's the back, and then that's the backing fabric that I used. I found the embellishments. I think I found these at the dollar store, local dollar store along with these. I started looking in January for Valentine's Day. This one I stitched in 2019. Not too bad. Here, let's back it up. This is also an easel. Found the uh, hearts, I think, at the dollar store. Flowers either at Joanne Fabrics, and I've also found these at the dollar store. This is what the fabric actually looks like on the front. That's behind the dog. And then I just used red on the back. And then it just... Well, you can't really tell, but it, it stands like that. I love making easels. They are so cute. My husband thinks they're adorable. He, yeah, he, he loves them too. <laughs> he comes home, he goes, wow, you got a lot done. Mr. Cupid, I had this frame. The frame fell apart. This was stitched way back in 99. And I decided to finish it into an easel. I found this ribbon in my stash. It's old, as you can tell. And then all it is is that I thought I would use the arrows, because Cupid's got the arrow, and then this is the backing fabric. It's got the arrows. I enjoy making these. I have a lot of fun. Whenever I know a holiday's coming up, I've started to go looking for embellishments for holidays I don't have anything for. That's where my money's going to right now. Like how my husband doesn't know, you know? Okay, for some table runners, we have two small coffee tables. So I made hearts quilted front and back. I have two of these because we have two small. I decorate every holiday, our whole house on the inside. So those are those two. And then I came up with this idea. I saw it on Pinterest. I hope I can put the whole thing in the camera. There we go. Three hearts and then I sewed them together and I put little bows there. This goes on our coffee table where I have all my cross stitching and then this is the backing fabric that I use so I can either you know put put it down that like that but I use this side I like the way no this is on our entertainment center I apologize and then I decorate the top of this then last year I decided to try applique I got bored I wanted something to di different to do applique hearts I had a whole bunch of hearts cut out because I was making hearts to hang and stuffing them and I said you know what I'm gonna make a table runner here. Applique is so much fun and it was actually easy. All I did was I used a zigzag stitch around the edge. I had a lot of fun making this. And then the backing fabric is just the glitter Valentine's Day fabric. This is on the coffee table. This is the, I have a long coffee table and all my cross stitches on there. Sorry it's so wrinkled. I've had it out. Okay next Let's do, um, let me get organized here. Here's another applique, it's Easter. I did this last year. This is when I was just playing around. I didn't know what I was really doing, but I thought he turned out cute. And I thought, you know what? Maybe I can make some pillows. Do like a purple, purple's my favorite color. You know, if you don't know by now, I love Halloween and purples and oranges and those kind of colors. So I thought I would do, you know, since I have this purple one, maybe do like a pink and a blue and maybe a yellow one, and then put the pillows around on the couches. That, that was just playing around with this. This is, I thought, it I thought he turned out really cute. Okay, then we have Easter FFOs, and these are all easels. 
I couldn't stop for Easter. All of these have been sitting around for years. This is from 2000, looks like 2014. Every bunny do the hop. I found the eggs at the dollar store, little bags. Uh, the flowers I found uh, yesterday at the dollar store. And then this is the fabric that's behind the cross stitch. And then in there is that fabric. I love the process of when I have to pick out all the fabrics. Then I'll put the easel together. Then I'll go back and say, okay, what kind of embellishments can I put on there? I don't, I don't like to do, overdo the embellishments because I love when you can see, you know, focus kind of like on the cross stitch. I'm looking at my two dogs. They're at the back door. They're going to have to wait. Oh, sorry. This has got a little dust. Cotton Town Company Cupcakes. This is a... a Sugar Stitches pattern. I love their patterns. I found these little balls. They're all individual. I glued them on. I bought them. I didn't know what I was going to use them for. Found the eggs and then the flowers. I found at Joanne Fabrics. Got them on sale and then I used a lot of the pom-poms. I've been finding quite a bit of pom-poms. There for a while I couldn't find anything. Saw these little balls. Bought them. Says okay I'll use them one day. This is the background and then the back of it I put Easter eggs glitter Easter eggs for the back Here, let's see if we can there it sits up like that I am gonna have fun decorating our house this year for Easter I don't have a lot this one I think is a Stony Creek I stitched this way back in 2014 just finished this this past week here is the flowers that I found I thought it went perfect with the green that came on the flower. And then I used the pink courting that I found. And then this is the fabric that's behind the cross stitch piece. And then I used Easter bunnies for the back. I have a ton of fabrics. I go to the, the thrift stores around here. You can actually find some good deals at thrift stores. I found probably three weeks in a row right after the pandemic hit and they finally were able to open our one thrift store. Three weeks in a row I found nothing but cross stitch fabric. I'm talking linens. I'm talking like two two yard pieces of linen. Good deals, let's just say that. I, I was a happy camper. Okay, here's another one by Sugar Stitches. Sorry, I have to clean this up a little. Cottontail and Company Carrot Patch found these at the dollar store found those at the dollar store I went back they don't have them anymore so I'm glad I bought what I did and the flowers are from Joanne fabrics I decided not to put any cording around it I thought I don't know if I like these I'm not sure but I wanted something at the top this is just an orange stripe that I found at Joanne fabrics the fabric and then the underneath carrots I was almost gonna put the carrots on the outside but I thought eh. I thought this would show up better because it's a light spring green. It was a fabric that I dyed. I found it in my stash, so I thought it would show up better with the orange. Okay, then the last easel is Cottontail & Company Delivery, another sugar stitches. I had a lot of fun stitching these. And then here we have more flowers, and then I found those little bows. And then this comes on a long comes on a big roll and then I just cut it my husband gave me his wire cutters works perfect I thought that turned out cute again I dyed the fabric I love purples I dye a lot of purple fabrics this is the fabric behind the stitching and I went with oh look at that rainbow Easter I bought it I didn't know what I was going to use this for but I really like the colors in it so those are all my FFOs I've done a lot um, next for Easter, I'm going to be working on ornaments and I'm also painting wood and then I'm going to, I got some ideas going. I hope it all comes together. Uh, excuse me. I have to grab, I don't want to mess these up. Okay. Next, uh, a few people have asked if I would show my dyed floss. So I said, okay, I got it all organized. I've got them in drawers. Excuse me. Oh, it's getting cold down here, too. My feetsies are cold. I do have socks on, but it's cold. Okay. 
This is the best way I could figure out how to show the floss. I apologize. But this is the way I thought I could show it. Um, I do name my own floss. Sorry, somebody must be walking by the house. The boys go crazy. Here's the first four. Let's see if I can get in close. Sorry for the glare. There's plastic on this piece of wood. Um, this, this one here, I named Charcoal Wine. It's a wine in gray. This is Autumn Harvest. It's sort of like an orange and brown and a green. Midnight Sky. This is sort of like different shades of gray. And then we have Bewitching Berry. It's got the berry colors along with like a brownish green. I try to come up with different colors to put together. I, all of mine are variegated. I've stitched with the oranges and it does look really nice because I don't have like really long lengths. The, ch the color will change consistently and will change more often. That's the first set. Here is the second set. Sorry if these aren't, I tried, sorry. Okay, this one here is Flaming Sea. It's like a, a, like a maroon and a green. Then we have Boo Hallow and I found some neon colored dye. So this is kind of like a gold with a neon green. Use it for Halloween. Uh, this one is Metal Mist, yellows and greens and berry blossom which is like different colors of like wine and magenta and maroon i really like how those turn out so that's that uh the next set okay let's get this down here got it wrapped around there we go okay here are some more this one is frank and mash i love putting purples and greens together this is like um i can't think of the name of the green that i used but this is one of my favorites right here. Then we have Fruit Punch. It's kind of yellows and pinks. Iris Bloom. Funny story how I came up with this color, Marie Osmond. I saw pictures of her. Yes, I'm a big Osmond fan. The dress was purple and yellow and I love the colors together. So I came up with purple and yellow. I love this. It could go nice on flowers. And then this one is Mystic Night. Sort of like blues and grays, different shades of darker blues. So there's that one. Next, here's four more. Here, let's get this, there we go. Okay, this one here is green leaves. It's just different shades of green. Um, a few people have used them on their leaves for flowers and vines. Mose Brown is a, is a really new color. It's just different shades of brown. I came up with the name Mose Brown. Don't ask me why. My husband asked me, I says, I don't know, it just sounded nice. <laughs> Here we have Mountain Metal. Let's see if we can get closer. Sort of like greens and browns, maybe like a rust. Monster Mash, another like purple, green. Purple, oh, this is purple and blue for Monster Mash. Um, I do make my own cards. I haven't gone professional printing. I'm still starting out with my floss, and yes, I do sell it. I've sold quite a bit. I enjoy it. Okay, here's the next set, which is Potion, which is purple and a neon green. Here, I hope you can see the colors. I love purples and greens, what can I say? Uh, this one is Pumpkin Spice. I had to redo the dyes on this because I, I couldn't find the dyes for the other Pumpkin Spice I had. It's like different shades of orange and I think I might add a little bit of yellow. Uh, this is Sea Breeze. It's different shades of like a teal and an aqua. And then we have Rainbow. And yes, the rainbow has all the colors of the rainbow. I don't know if you can see it. It's got the orange, red, yellow, blue, green, purple. And I tried to do it so you have a little bit of each color. That was fun to do. It was a pain, but it was fun. I like putting the colors together. And the last card I have are these colors. This is called Old Festive Holiday. Reminded me of um, the old time holidays. It's like a, a like a dark maroonish with a dark green, and I think I added a little bit of brown. Uh, this one is Peacock. When I dyed it, to me, it just reminded me of a peacock. Donny Osmond was the peacock, wasn't he, on the dancing show? I had to do something for him. Mustard Haze. 
I love doing it. I love dyeing fabrics with the mustard color. So I mix like a yellowish golden rod with brown to get that. And then the last one is purple mix. Different shades of purple and lavender. Dark, medium, light. So that's how I did that. Uh, so you can see what's on the other side so you know how I know the colors. These are the cards. Oh, sorry. These are the cards that I print. It's probably backwards. Sorry. I pull punch it. I print up my own. Nothing fancy, but at least it keeps it organized. Um, also, the way I keep it organized for me is I have, I love plastic drawers. I go crazy when I go to, to the thrift stores. This is the drawer. This is the system I use. They're all alphabetical and it says right here, it will show the formula for the colors that I have in there. So I know exactly what colors to use when I need to dye more. And that has, that's been a lifesaver because people have wanted to order like 10 of one color. I know exactly what color of dyes to use and everything. Well, I think that's it folks. I think I finished. Did pretty good. I didn't get too cold down here. Um, I'm going to try to do a video a month. Uh, we'll see what I have to show. If I don't have anything to show, uh, I don't know if I do one every month, but I plan, I hope to get back into stitching. Uh, most of my dyeing is done, so all I have to do is put all this away. But I still have a lot of finishing work. But I'm, I, my pile has gone from this of Stitch Peaches. I think I've gotten at least half done in finishing work. Starting with Halloween, I did Thanksgiving, I did Christmas. I did Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, I completely finished everything I had stitched. Easter, I still have a lot left that I have to finish on. I don't have anything stitched yet for Patriotic, but I know what holidays I need to stitch for now. I don't need to stitch for Halloween. I, I'm quite sure if you've watched other videos, you know I'm a Halloween freak for stitching. Um, that's about it for this time. I hope you have a, a great Valentine's Day. I think I don't know if we're going out. I may just make a nice dinner here at home. Maybe just spaghetti with meatballs and that's a nice dinner for me. I love pasta. Um, I hope wherever you live, you're staying safe. Uh, be careful out there if you have a lot of snow. We're expecting snow this weekend. So I got all my errands done this morning and then I decided I'm going to do a video. I got everything together pretty quick. I just want to say thank you again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. hope I wasn't boring. I'm always worried that I'm boring. Um, it's been fun. Now I have to put all this back. <laughs> Enjoy the weekend, and I'll see you hopefully next month. Bye-bye.